What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be taking a quick look, well not a quick look but an in-depth look at all the gameplay changes, right? So we're going to go through the notes, we're going to take our time and we're going to see if everything, um, or see everything that they've added, right? So this is available from the news menu here on the banner in the call to action page here. So Look, we're going to go through this as quickly and as thoroughly as possible. There is a lot of stuff that they're talking about changing. And then I obviously will have my impressions up as well. So this is for anybody that is not able to check out this stuff themselves. So I hope you guys enjoy it and we will go through it. I will be live streaming in a bit and I will have a couple of more videos dropping throughout the day as well. So they start by saying that there's a new update 2.4 now available. And they talk about before they get into gameplay, they're actually talking about additional features and stuff like that. So they've added a friend match mode in authentic team where users can play online matches and offline matches using real world teams. So, you know, Madrid versus City, I can play one of you guys, Madrid versus City, or so on and so forth. They also updated the selectable teams under trial match in authentic team. So it's the same thing as I just said there. Added a new feature where you can select the order of penalty takers based on their stats and conditions. So just automated that like a, an auto select for your best penalty takers. Again, something small, kind of like a Kind of like a user interface type thing. Um, added filter function to re for reserves in game plan. So that's just for filtering your players if you want to be searching through your reserves. Added a new feature in special player list under contract where users can sign multiple players at once. So instead of signing one player at a time individually, you can now sign players, sign 10 players at a time and you get a slight discount. A discount. And then they also added a new feature, uh, which is new filter options in my team. So... There's a lot of stuff there, obviously just ease of access stuff, a lot of stuff that's going to be for usability. Um, so for example, if we were to go back out here just real quick and go into my team and go into your players and you go into list actions and you go to filter, they've added a few bits and pieces here. Um, obviously the live update is still there. Um, and they also, when you actually go in to your sort here, they've added some stuff there as well. Um, filter as I said, and then the selection view is the normal, right? So they will be increasing that, I think, as time goes on as well. Um, but yeah, getting back to this here, I mean, it's 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 very small stuff. Um, getting back here, then they talk about update. They added a new stadium, the Estadio Akron, updated the player roster for some clubs playing in the Brazilian League. The following data has also been updated. So they updated a load of team data, uh, photos, graphics, and, and manager pictures, strips, stadium graphics, boots, commentary, and photos. And then they also added new season data updates there for those teams. And then they said that they took away a couple of these things. Now, onto gameplay, right? So this is the bread and butter of this video, lads, right? Gameplay fixes and adjustments. Dribbling. Music to my ears, but I see that it's only a tiny little paragraph, right? But they say that it significantly, significantly improved the response of dribbling, especially in slow-moving situations, such as immediately after controlling a pass or after a big turn. This is huge. It will bring it back to V1.0 um, if it works. I have yet to play the game, obviously, because the servers are still down at time of recording. But we will get on. We're going to play offline. Then we're going to play online. We're going to have a live stream. We're going to be playing against other players. We're going to be playing against normal matches. And we're just going to be testing things. Implemented adjustments to mid-dribble shield command input so that a shield can only be performed when the player has the ball under control. Previously, shield could be performed even if the ball is not fully under control, which could ultimately lead to losses of possession. So I think this is actually going to work the opposite way because I think people are going to abuse this, but we will test it out when we get into the game ourselves. But anything that improves dribbling, I've been told that they're trying to get the dribbling back to being a 1v1 battle that that kind of has gone by the wayside it's all about kind of like team press team pressure turning over possession blocking the passing lanes and being very aggressive aggressive uh with intercepts and stuff so they are trying to get back to dribbling a bit i think obviously um with these with these improvements passing implemented adjustments so that mid dribble kicking inputs are more responsibly reflected so yeah i've uh, you know it is a little bit more responsive i just had one game one half playing offline uh in the trial match and from t speaking to other people um that have contacted me and said yeah it does feel more responsive implement adjustments so that the kick input is performed just before the ball is controlled the subsequent kick will be more responsive so yeah better first time shots implemented adjustments so that true passes will now be played towards a more appropriate position so previously they were played too close towards the receiving player that's a huge thing as well because the passing lanes are a big big issue um, at the moment it's just clogged up and you can't really play possession football 
implemented adjustments to alleviate the issue of players not being able to receive passes adequately. This is a big issue as well of players running past the ball. And it also fixed the issue regarding manual pass level 1 and 2. We're performing a lofted pass with the power gauge at maximum towards the direction with no teammates. May result in a manual pass being performed instead. Hadn't really encountered that myself, so can't really comment too much on it. But let me know if you guys had issues with that with clearing the ball. Shooting. Implemented adjustments so that players with the player skill acrobatic finish will now perform more acrobatic shots more frequently in the adequate situations. Enhancements were always implemented to the speed and accuracy of acrobatic finishing attempts. So obviously maybe acrobatic finishing will be a bit boosted now when they speak about things like this. Anything that they mention, they've either nerfed or buffed. That's the way that they, they, they usually do it. Adjustments so that when inputting a shoot or clear command within close proximity to opponent, players will make contact with the ball in a more hastily manner as previously more time-consuming animations may be selected, which could lead to losses of uh, possession again i think this is the route you need to go if you're going to be going with an online centric mode it does need to be more responsive than realistic in terms of certain situations now don't misquote me on that i mean certain situations that if you're jamming buttons something is wrong in my opinion for a football game that depends on you know ping and lag and latency implemented adjustments so that the appropriate shooting motions will be selected with regard to distance and other in-match circumstances such as headers may be triggered in areas that are too far away from the goal Again, because there's no manual header, volley, or shoot button, it's all controlled contextually, so they need to balance that, and that's what they've done here. Fix the issue with performing a controlled shot right after kick fate may result in an excessively high-speed shot. People were abusing that with the finesse and curl shots. That's page one. Page two, there's a lot in here, lads. There's a lot in here, so hopefully a lot of it is implemented when we see the actual gameplay. Implemented trap adjustments to some ball control motions as previous players may move in a slow manner after taking a touch. This was a huge issue with the likes of Mbappe or Romario that when they had, had the ball under control, they took a second to get going. They like had a little stutter animation. And, and when you switch players, there was a stutter animation there as well. We'll get to that in defense in a minute. Adjustments to alleviate the issue of when controlling a sudden oncoming ball, players may take an excessively heavy touch if a dash command is not performed. Uh, that was happening to me the whole time. It was like, you know, I was pressing dash, but I wasn't. Fix the issue where teammates can come forward to receive a short corner and may not be able to control the ball properly. They did nerf that because the short corners were so overpowered at the start of eFootball 22, so they've probably brought it back a bit now. All this sounds good to me. Um, defense. Implemented adjustments to the player movement speed and defense in order to ensure proper game balance in response to other attacking related adjustments. So they've boosted the defense again. Have they made it more assisted? I sure hope not. Fix the issue regarding matchup where players move towards the ball, even if the directional input is performed in a different direction. Okay, well, that's less automated there if it's more manual. Fix the issue where possession cannot be retrieved despite the player having their body in line between the ball and the opponent. That was a big issue that I had that I highlighted and I sent back was the teleportation. That ball, you literally trap the ball, trap the opponent. He can't pass it anywhere and the ball would just teleport through a leg um, with clipping issues. So hopefully they fix that. Issue regarding the dropping area of oncoming high balls where players may attempt to head the ball in the spot instead of jostling for position with the, with the opponent. Again, I noticed that a lot. That was a big issue for me. Uh, fix the issue where a normal tackle may be triggered even if a shoulder charge input is performed. Okay. Adjustments so that it's now easier to block an oncoming ball. Mm, not too sure about that. As previously, players may not be able to block oncoming... On... Coming crosses but despite being in an adequate position to do so implemented adjustments to the triggering conditions of block as previously players may perform blocks in the naturally body positions so i think they're aware of the issues man i think anyone that sits down and plays the game for more than an hour or two will know that the blocks the interceptions the passing lanes it's way too automatic it's way too assisted and they do need to implement that change there and especially when they talk about now making it easier to block an oncoming ball hopefully there's less you know teleportation i mean this isn't hogwarts legacy that we're playing there should be no magic going on it should be that if you block the ball it's blocked and it's in your favor nine times out of ten or maybe even 70 30 percent split goalkeeper implemented adjustments to ensure that goalkeepers will make the appropriate decision to catch an oncoming ball in the air i mean you've seen you're going to see some fail of the weeks coming up it will be out this week friday i'm hoping to have it out tomorrow um and there's some disaster goalkeeper issues so hopefully these are all fixed talk about dash not dashing forward and not you know catching the ball and all that so they're looking to fix the goalkeepers quite a bit they also talk about fouls implemented adjustments for fair decisions with regard to the circumstances so i think goalkeepers and defense is a big one um to balance what they've done with the with the actual uh attacking options and now they also talk about ai so i could nearly do a whole video on this lads but we will get there short and sweet right Adjustments to the position of player in defensive situations so that when increasing the attack defense levels, players will start applying pressure to the opponent higher up the pitch. 
that worries me. Now, that worries me a lot. And I'm going to get into that in the live stream today. Because nothing needs to be automated. It should be all fully controlled. Implemented adjustments to team play style possession and out wide. Okay, now we're talking so that there are more supporting players in positions to receive passes from the ball holder, which contributes to smoother passing plays and attack. I think that the, I think out wide possession is going to be the way to go for V2.4, at least for the first week. So if you're not used to playing that, I think that you should get used to playing that, in my opinion. Hopefully it'll suit me. Implemented adjustments so that players who look to jump out behind the defensive line will run into spaces that are more effective. So yeah, better AI runs. Obviously, sometimes, you know, the AI could make terrible runs for you, and then you just pass the ball, and Mbappe would be behind the defender. He'd just be running into space. Implement instead of run into space. Adjustments so that a player making runs behind the defender and potential goal scoring scenarios will smoothly run towards the in in intended spaces without decelerating. Deaccelerating. Yeah, so that was an issue as well that a player would either run offside or run behind the defender instead of like holding the line running naturally. You know, it's up to me if I make the pass. Let the defender or let the AI run forward. And then obviously it's up to me to pass it at the right time. If I don't, it's my mistake. So that's just something to look at as well. We also get adjustments to players who make a run uh, in scenarios where multiple players are on the attack and where opponents are less likely to intercept the passes. So that's fairly self-explanatory. So that fullbacks, with the exception of defensive fullbacks, would make overlapping runs in appropriate scenarios. So the AI increase in adjustments seem to be very attack-based, man, which does worry me a little bit. Uh, worries me slightly, now, I will say. Implementing adjustments to make sure to ensure that the defending player is positioned in front of the penalty area during opponents' corner kicks and free kicks in deep positions as clearance and second balls were often picked up by the opposition team. Yeah, that was a thing that if you cleared a ball, it would always land to the opponent. Adjustments so that when possession is lost near the team's own penalty area, the whole team will switch back to defending in a quicker manner. Okay, that's better. That's obviously better, more in tune with defensive AI. Adjustments to the positioning of players in defensive situations so that man marking would perform better. Adjustments implemented to the triggering conditions, distance as well as the speed of defensive line drops, as well as the previous uh, defensive line dropping too far becoming uneven. That was not so much an issue. It's, you know, obviously if you're playing three at the back, you don't really see stuff like that. Um, or five at the back, but four at the back, yeah, you there was issues with that if you weren't playing defensive. Implemented adjustments so that when performing a call for pressure, the opposition ball holder becomes under pressure. The whole team will take up positions that make further pressing even easier. Hmm. Again, it seems to be, I don't know, do I like this stuff, man? I don't know, do I like this stuff? I'm going to have to play and see um, what the flow is like. It could flow a lot better and a lot more smooth. Implemented adjustments so that the, how many, how many times have I said uh, implemented it? Implemented adjustments so that the cursor will switch to more appropriate player. Okay, so um, player switching seems to be improved. Where the ball bounces off the woodwork comes back into play. Okay, so reaction speed, more responsive. Players will avoid the oncoming shots and passes from teammates in a better manner. Adjustments so when defenders put the body, bodies in a successfully regained possession, the player lost the ball and not stumble. Okay, well, yeah, that was something as well that you could really abuse. That was something you could really abuse. I saw a lot of Division 1 players abuse that against, you know, me when I was playing them. Um, which, again, is learning the mechanics and learning to see what works. You I mean, it's up to the ref to blow it. Speed, a uh, fixed issue where players chasing after ball is going out of bounds may give up earlier than expected. Hadn't really seen that too much. Adjustments to the calculation algorithm of added time. Uh, so yeah, obviously that's going to be added time. It will be sometimes too short or too long or whatever. Implemented adjustments in global improvements. Contracts that at the signing alert message will now be deployed only once instead of twice. So no confirmation the second time. Um, implemented adjustments regarding the position of the reset option. Implemented adjustments regarding the auto pick under uh, game plan and dream team so that there are multiple players with the exact overall the one with the highest team play, play style proficiency. So these are just small enhancements. Enhancements to online matchmaking, a variety of minor adjustments. Uh, minor adjustments to each mode and match with the aim of improving the overall uh, experience. And then the last page is just literally just about crashes and stuff like that. There's no real gameplay stuff there. So yeah, let's look. That is it. It's a 14, 15 minute video. It's gone through everything. Let me know what you think. We are going to be getting our impressions video up very, very soon. But until next time, lads, I will talk to you later. Let me know what you think. There's a lot of stuff in there that I'm kind of cautiously optimistic about. But there's a lot of stuff in there that kind of worries me as well. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.